Welcome! In this video we're going to take a look at what's inside a Spiderball Gel Blaster magazine. These magazines are powered magazines, electrically powered magazines. So we're going to take a look at this orange one here. You're going to need a number one screwdriver with a Phillips tip that can reach down into these holes here to take it apart. Okay, once the screws are all taken out, you can disassemble the two halves. You'll have some parts will fall, fall off. So hopefully the screws are all the same length. And what we have in here is pretty simple. There's a flap up here, a little trap door that fell off. There's a spring-loaded mechanism up here that prevents the gel balls from falling out inadvertently when it's not loaded into the blaster. There's this motor housing assembly here. It looks like it's attached to the feed tube. Whoops, stuff is falling apart. When I took this feed tube apart, this came out too. So we have this little spring here with this catch. Set those aside so we don't lose them. And here is our very simple motor drive. It's just a small motor with a worm screw to a spur gear, and it drives a star-shaped gear that grabs the gel balls and pushes them up the feed tube here. And it looks like there's a plate here that kind of covers this, that feeds the gel balls down into a funnel. They get pushed up the tube. This motor just falls out. This gear seems to be kind of stuck in place there. So this shaft is coated black, presumably for corrosion prevention. I've heard that uh, you know these shafts can get stuck, jammed, if they get corroded. I also see that there's a little bit of cracking there already of this piece where it's pressed onto the shaft. So supposedly that can start slipping. But sometimes you need to take it apart and glue that back on to prevent it from slipping. So it's already cracking now, it's not a good sign. It's might bust apart later. Uh, it's a pretty simple device. Here's the feed tube. You take the feed tube out completely. So the feed tube is two halves. Comes together. It's got a bunch of locating pins. And that's where the gel balls slide up. This is the lower housing here. The feed tube fits into that. Like so. This little catch here slides in this. There's a spring in the back, which is an easy spring to lose. And then the other half of the feed tube goes over it. Like that. So then you can slide the catch back. I don't like the way this catch, like see if you try to push it from one side, it's really not very easy to get it to pull back. It's not a good design. So to reassemble all this, Start off with putting the feed tube back onto the gearbox thing here. And then put this cover plate back on here. The cover plate wants to pop off all the time. So just get that together. Put it back down inside the magazine half. So it's important to keep these magazines dry afterwards to make sure they don't stay wet with liquid because otherwise the motor can corrode and it's not going to work anymore. So you want to make sure that let, let them out, leave them out so they can dry. I'm going to put the wires back in here so they don't get tangled up on anything here. And then carefully put this half back on. This is pretty tricky because the cables keep wanting to get pinched when you're putting it back together. There we go. So I'm going to start putting some screws in the bottom just to hold it together, but I haven't put that flap back in yet. Remember when you're screwing into plastic, 
You always back up first until you hear and feel a little snap. There you go. Then you screw forward just to make sure that you're not cross-threading anything. All right, now I'm going to put this flap back in here at the top. I'm just going to open the housing just enough to fit the flap back in. Whoa. There we go. The flap is good. And do the same thing with these other screws. Back up a little bit until you hear and feel snap. There we go. And then drive forward. Make sure there's not too much resistance. And don't over tighten these screws. And hopefully after you put it back together, it still works.